Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to replace a dripping faucet. Now this faucet is not any kind of faucet, it's the type for your laundry room. You may even have a utility sink hooked up to this type of uh, scenario. But as you can see, the faucet is off, it's dripping, and it's hissing. And if you put your hand out around it, you can feel a little bit of moisture being sprayed. So it's obviously coated in hard water. We have a hard water issue, hence the water softener. But uh, this, is, this is what happens over time when you get a small drip. So I am going to be replacing it. So the replacement valve is right here. It's a little bit of a different kind. Uh, the one I've got doesn't have blue on top here. But uh, I think I'll figure out which one is the cold and which one is the hot since they're in the right position anyways. So for the tools that you're going to need for this video, uh, I got a screwdriver, a couple of wrenches and Teflon tape. So let's get started and uh, get the water shut off. So for myself, I have the water actually comes into my house underneath my furnace. So the shutoff is right there and I actually have another shutoff right there. So let's go around the furnace and get a better view. So here's one shutoff. They've even attached it to the furnace, which I find very odd, but that's okay. And we'll shut off the water to the entire house right here. You can see where there's a splitter for the outdoors, water going to and from the softener, and then through the rest of the residence here. So now I got the water shut off. There's still pressure in the line, so I need to drain that pressure. And what I'll be doing for that is using this makeshift hose. Just put that on there so it's tight. And then the other end I'm going to run just right here on the floor. And that'll come out on the floor and then it'll go down that drain. So let's get this turned on. So the water is pretty much all drained out. And we'll get this removed. So as pressure gets released elsewhere in the house, you can see uh, extra water comes out. I just heard a toilet flushed. So uh, be, be aware of that. You might end up with water uh, unexpectedly. Keep a rag nearby because uh, there's definitely going to be a little bit of spillage when doing this. So let's get this removed. So on this side of the box, there's a little screw here that you can loosen you might get a bit of water come down on your hands but when doing so this will give you more access up here to work There you go, so that takes care of the old one. You can see the water is right at the very top there. So I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. So you can just wrap this a few times in Teflon tape.
we go. Tighten the piece in behind. And put this piece back on for the pressure test. Turn it off. And when I turn the water back on, I should hear the pipes upstairs fill up. And a quick look here. So far, so good. So let's turn the water on. So there you have it. That concludes my video on how to replace a faucet for your washer. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see what else I'm up to, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks.